What's going on guys, it's Kenny with Kenny Man. All right, so, sorry I haven't had a video in a minute, but I've been going through all the challenges. Um, as you see, I am at le Mutt level 40. I wanted to see if, you know, you can mutt, get your m uh, max Mutt level just by playing the challenges only, not having to repeat it solo to just get there. I wanted to see if you just play the challenges, can you get to uh, max Mutt level? I think it's possible you might end up short like one or um, a couple levels there total um, but overall it is possible as you see I've gotten full off um, all the stars for rivals uh, level challenges uh, only reason I don't have all of them is because I still have another level 48 to unlock they're very easy these are simple challenges it took like two seconds and I play epics this one is an interesting one they're overall they're pretty easy um some of them you just had to redo um you know because you messed up something simple but other than that they weren't too hard um but i finished them all i got all the stars the only one that i didn't get is adrian peterson um the reason i did not get it is because there's a few in here like this first one you need a 60 60 yard straight shot touchdown one on your first try that's hard okay I tried everything. I mean, I spent probably two hours trying to do it. I can't figure out a way to do it. Uh, if you guys find a way, please let me know. But from what I found, it's it's almost impossible. Um, especially being this early in the game, I think it's just too hard. Um, and then there's this one. Uh, score rushing touchdown three plays. You're on your 20 yard line. Um, it's possible. I just really haven't gone back into it. You just what I feel you should do is just throw it because it doesn't say any rushing yards. So you need to go do a deep ball, do a couple jukes, uh, do two jukes, go out at the one, and then run it in. Should be able to how you how you get all five stars uh, or four stars, I should say. Um, and then you come down here. There's this one that again I didn't get the third one because it's a 82 yard run. Again, not the easiest when you're on, you know, the third max stars. <coughs> this one. Um, score two touchdowns, score rushing TD. Um, actually, I honestly don't know why I didn't complete this one. That's a simple one. It should be, it should have been completed. I might have accidentally overlooked it. Um, and then there's this one. Score rushing touchdown in four plays, but you need to rush for 50 yards on the drive. It's just really hard to, you know, get that breakaway. It, it's one of those challenges that it's just going to be pure luck. Um, the next one, score rushing touchdown on the first play. Again, as you see right there, you're on the 10, your 10 yard line. That's a 90 yard run. It's just really hard, uh, especially being the, you know this early in the game for your first play to run 90 yards is very hard. Um, and then this one again, I just didn't play it. Um, it's very simple though. Win the game, score three rushing touchdowns, rush 250. You can do that very simple. You don't have to hold them. You don't have to do anything spectacular. They're just simple. Just run. You know, get the 250 yards. You can get that easy. Um, I've I'll go ahead and show you my lineup, um, and then I want to go over a few things with you guys. But let me get in here and show you guys what we're, what I'm using as my team, what what I found to be the best thing um, to help complete a lot of these challenges. Uh, I there we go. I do have the Patriots offense with the Steelers defense. I do like the Steelers defense. It just has certain blitzes and coverage zone. Uh, zone blitzes that I really do prefer to use so for me it helps but as you see we have Lamar um, you know he did come with the MVP pack so that is nice um, free card basically uh, I got Christian McCaffrey I did go ahead upgrade Christian McCaffrey all the way um, he's been great I have uh, what you call it Andre Johnson uh, so far he's only up to 87 I still have two more um, I'll get the next two once I finish my mud levels to get him all the way to the 89. We got Michael Thomas. I did pull his power up. 
um, actually yesterday. So I just went ahead and powered them all the way up. And we have Julio Jones over here. And then as you see below, Michael Thomas, we got Stefan Diggs. And then below Julio, we have the 85 Larry Fitzgerald. Um, really on offense, I'm not using the epic players. As you see, they're, you know, fifth and third string. Um, tight end, I chose Zach Ertz as my rivals player, just because Big Ben, you know, I have Lamar, and you really need that mobile quarterback. You know how these games are. If you don't have a mobile quarterback, you're just almost dead in the water sometimes. Offensive line's looking pretty decent here, and then defense is, I'm, I'm pretty decent, pretty happy with. Um, Ronnie Lott, I am using, same with Jack Youngblood, I am using both of them. Um, you do want to make sure you have your Sam Mills somewhere in your lineup. Does, he doesn't have to be playing, doesn't have anything. He just needs to be in your lineup. So that way when you're doing um, doing things, you have him there um, to get all your stats and everything. Because he has to be in the team while so you can you know complete his um, power-up se uh, sequence when you complete those challenges, which I will go over um, on another video showing you the easiest and fastest way to do it. Um, I went with my uh, captain, um, Williams over here, um, Aeneas Williams, just corners. You always need a good corner. Corners are one of the biggest things, so having him on the team definitely helps. He's got some good speed. You know, I, I really do enjoy having him. Um, Jack Young, I, I will say this Jack Youngblood is pretty good. He is, I mean, dude's just always somehow almost hitting the quarterback. He's getting through that line like that every time. Um, I hit B a minute ago. I'm still waiting for the thing to catch up to me. You gotta love Madden. Yeah, come on. You can do it. I got faith. Alright, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna go through and show you a few challenges. Um, because a lot of these, you know, things that you need, like sacks and fumbles and stuff, I'm gonna show you the easiest, what I've found to help, so you can get sacks, fumbles. I've gotten, I'm almost at like 300 fumbles already. I've just been going, you go in and I am just cracking a defender, uh, offensive player every time because of the way I am doing this. So let's go, it's, um, we'll just use Epics. I like to use um, going to the Jack Youngblood's um, solos because they're very easy. But like right here, um, well, let's not do that one. Let's see here. Get two sacks in the first quarter. I know a lot of people are, you know, last year you could do the straight rush, which was under special teams, and it was just sack, sack, sack all the time. This year it's a lot harder to get a sack. You can't just spam that blitz. You need to do it a bit differently. So with that being said, I've been going through um, trying to find a good blitz. Something that, you know, you still have some coverage, but you also get in some pressure. One thing I have noticed is the user rush is ridiculous. That is good. So again, this is the Steelers defensive playbook. You go in formation, you go in their nickel. Go under, so you want triple. So under nickel, you go to triple, and then it's nickel blitz right there. So from here, you're gonna hit Y, right on the um, left joystick, pinch the O-line, and then as soon as they come around that corner, you go ahead and just hit stick them. If they catch it or anything, you can always get a hit stick. So as you see, very simple, boom, fumble, that easy. Hit sticks are your friends, is your best friend in this game for this year. Um, I didn't finish doing the setup on that. So when you go under the nickel blitz, you're gonna hit Y, and then you go right on the left uh, analog. <clears throat> and that does a base line. And then from there, you wanna pinch your, um, your uh, defensive line. If you don't know how to do that, um, that is left on the D-pad and then down. So another thing, oh, kickoff right here. I do kickoff left. <clears throat> so on your analog, you push it right, and then full power max. Just hit this as far as you can because you're gonna put it over in that corner. Once it's in that corner, then I swap over. I hit B, so I'm on this guy over here. I come out here and 
if I can catch him properly, I normally just get close enough, hit, do a hit stick, another fumble. It's just that's where I'm getting all my fumbles from is right here and obviously when you're on defense, I do that blitz. So again, formation, under nickel, you go to triple, nickel, blitz. Baseline, you wanna come over here and choose Williams. Pinch the line and then just stand right here and sometimes that's gonna happen, but boom. Sack plus a fumble and a scoop and score. Simple. Again, I've been doing I was doing this. I've got I will go and show you my stats. Um it that's what I've been doing for all my sacks, all my um fumbles. I already have, like I said, 150 some fumbles. It's just that right there. That's all I do. Plus my kickoff between those two things. I'm, I'm getting a million fumbles, I'm getting the sacks, I'm knocking all that out. The only thing I have not figured out yet are the uh, interceptions. Um, I know last year we had a way, but it doesn't really work for me. Uh, other people say it still does work. If you go in the field goal load block right, and then go into punt safe man, people say it still works. I have not found out. Um, every time I've tried it, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I don't know if maybe something in my settings is messed up, but again, this is all I'm doing for my blitzing. So nickel blitz, I base a line, which is Y, and then right on the um, analog. I also then put all my defensive backs into, um, boom, fumble. And let's take it back for a score. Like I said, that's all I'm doing because you're far enough back from the, the receivers that they might catch them on you. And if they do, you can just lay a hit stick right on them. If you don't know how to hit stick, you just take the right stick, push forward when you go to tackle them. You don't hit X, you just push that forward. You're gonna hit them square and <clears throat> they're gonna drop it. This early in the game, they're gonna constantly just, ball's gonna pop out like it's nothing. Um, very simple. So let's go ahead. Do this again i just went straight i'm i don't want the fumble i want to get the last sack so i can finish this challenge so come on great and then that happens i, I, I want to give them the ball <laughs> but i'm up what four touchdowns and all i've done is i haven't even played offense these are all defensive scores. It is pretty nice. Um, but guys, that's all you have to do. Nickel blitz. You just want a really good blitz that has man coverage. Because man coverage this year is the way to go. Unless you're playing a team that, you know, is ridiculously... I'm going to kick this one out of bounds. That way I can make sure they get the ball. Um, because this is getting... Even screwing my kick up didn't work. There, 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 the other ball. All right, <laughs> but yeah, guys, very simple. You just want to go blitzes that um, have, you know, some man coverage and then, you know, do that. So when you're on this side, I line up right behind this guy because he's going to go in front of me. He's going to take him. And yeah, that's going to happen. It will happen. You're gonna, they're going to get some passes, but... It is, it's just, there's nothing you can do about it. It's the game I have not found. Like, this is what's been the best thing for me. I'm not trying to hit stick him, but I had three op three times I could hit, I could get a hit stick, which would have just popped that ball out. Because again, I know we need those fumbles. And this year it's hard. Okay, so I'm base the line. Uh, just line up right here. They're gonna take those two defenders, should give me a hole to run through. And they ran instead. But as you see, that hole on that side opens up. I prefer to get my, um, be on the other side. So when I, line, um, like right here, this is where I prefer because I can get a better angle at the quarterback. And there we go, another sack. Even though it wasn't me, but by me taking over the um, that player and holding off that running back, Jack Youngblood was able to get through, hit him. 
Very simple guys, um, but this is how you get your sacks. This would be what I recommend to do um, when you, to get all that. It, it's gonna take some time, but this is the best thing I've found that's gonna help and get everything you, um, on the sacks that you're gonna need. Um, there's certain, sometimes, like I said, it's not perfect. I have not mastered it, but so far that this is the best thing that I've found. It's gotten me through many of these challenges so that way because the ones get a sack user sack user it helps because it gives you a proper setup where you can try to get to the quarterback and if he does throw it you can lay a hit stick and get a fumble so we need fumbles we need all that so it doesn't you know it doesn't hurt to do it guys i appreciate you watching uh, please do subscribe like and comment it helps me out immensely um, I will definitely have another video out here shortly just going over the sand mills for you guys um, and how as well as the mutt levels I want to I'm gonna do a kind of a combination so on that but other than that guys I appreciate you watching I'll see you on the next video peace